boy. Howdy folks, I'm Diamondback Dave and this is my loyal companion Dusty. We're prospectors from the mid-1800s and would like to share with you the experience of the Lone Gold Prospector. So come along with us and we hope you enjoy your journeys. And Dusty, it's that time of the day to get you all packed out. Now, over here is this pack saddle. This one's made in 1849. Had to do some repairs on it, but it works great. Yeah, I kind of have to maintain these pretty regular. They go through a lot of wear. This is 44 Colt, made in 1860. Designed by the Colt brothers. Used for uh, the Navy, actually. The Navy didn't use it, so they put it out on the uh, public sector. It shoots a 44 caliber black powder ball, lead ball. This is my Bowie knife. I've got it laced with Good Luck Gold Nuggets. I've cut uh, holes, augered holes along the handle, this stag handle. It's an elk bone, or elk antler. And I put some of my nuggets in here because I'm superstitious like a lot of miners. We believe if you wear your nuggets to wear your gold, it'll attract more gold to you. And we use this for cutting up our food. And I'm gonna pan this all the way down here. If you look really close, once again, the gold's right in the bottom corner of the pan. Right on this edge, right in here. You see the gold is, is surrounded with black sands, yet it stays all together in one grouping. That's because it has the same weight. With this pan, it'll hold back some of these stones. You can just pick them up and drop them in the larger pan. Then just going back and forth real gently. And I'm not hitting my hand hard, just a gentle bump. I believe the vibration drops the gold back down each time it hits. And when I get really down to it, like this, I bring it all back to the bottom again. Take a look in there. Then I'll slide this over to the side of the pan and let the larger stones go over the plastic pan. See how they all group together? That's because they're real light. Now that we've got most of those larger pebbles out of the way, I bring it back to the bottom. And this is our last little bit of cleanup or uh, the final, final panning process here. I've got just a little bit of black sand left here. Now I'm going to get some of those little stones out of the way. Now if you look very closely down here, you should see some gold show up. And see it's right at the very bottom riffle, right where it's supposed to be. Just to leave a little contrast in the pan, I'm going to leave a little black sand behind. Just a little. Now that is some beautiful gold. Yeah. 
dusty. Bye for now. It's snowing. <laughs>